So this is how you're going to catch big moves in the market and get to catch great pips. This is GBP USD, a one hour time frame, right? So the first thing you have to do is to identify the market structure. Where is the market trending? For example, here, if you look at this pair, right? Uh, let's first see, first go to the higher time frame. For example, you can use day day and uh, and look for the market structure. Where is the market uh, trending? So, if if you can look at the daily chart and our GBP USD here, you will see that the market is making higher highs, higher lows. Right? Let me show you right here. So the market is making higher highs, higher lows. The market is breaking highs right so you can see here this is a high this is a low this is a high uh this is a low now <clears throat> and this is a high right so if the market reached there now it is now the market is coming back it made a retracement right it made a retracement uh, up to where it reached here right where there was uh, up to here right because if you re if you look here closely you'll see that there was a a demand zone here if you if i draw my demand zone there if you look closely you'll see that on my daily time frame there was a demand zone so the market didn't change the trend right it was just retracing up to where there is a demand zone an impulsive move means that there was banks behind this move right if you can see this move it was so impulsive right up there before the market made that retracement right so after that so after after making analysis and knowing where the market is trending we have said that the market is in, in an uptrend right and um after after identifying that you just switch to your lower time frames right uh, in case you are uh, you entering the market in the in the minute 15 you just switch to minute 15 or one hour time frame right so let me go to one hour time frame so if you go to your one hour time frame here you'll see you'll see that uh, whenever the market came and tapped this this zone it was just buying as you saw we drew this zone right on our daily time frame so whenever the market was um was tapping this zone it was just it was just buying as you can see here let me show you now uh, where the market is heading if you head to your one hour time frame here and you look closely in your one hour time frame right you'll see that now we have to look for buys right so um so now we have to look for buys and a structure break right so if you can see here let me show you our last high right if so this candle broke uh, above that zone that means it is indicating it is indicating a uh, buy signal why if we had our market like this right if our market <coughs> was like this right if it was making uh, equal highs and equal rows right so now if that was our market hmm, then uh, we draw our horizontal at the last last high right then this market comes then if this market if it breaks and closes above this zone right with a candle hmm, that means there is an indication for a buy but if 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 the market if the market comes and and closes below this zone that means it will be just a retest of this what of this <clears throat> it will be a retest of this resistance zone right if it if the market comes it taps there then it closes below this zone right if it closes below this zone that means we shall be we shall be going for sales right but if our market if our market closes above if it closes above if it closes above that resistance with a full can or if it causes above that resistance with a candle that means we shall be aiming for buys right so this is what i'm trying to explain here so this market closed with a candle right above that resistance that means a structure break there then and here they broke that 
that one right let me change the color to black also the break there so now we are waiting you know if this market uh, broke this resistance right it was a retracement it came and retraced then it went back right so also here we're expecting this market to come back and retrace and it will come and fill these gaps you know it left some uh, fair value gaps behind so it will have to come in <coughs> and fill those gaps before it goes before it goes upwards right so you can see here there are many gaps here so there is this gap here there are some fair value gaps there and there is also this one here So there are so many gaps there that the market has left behind. So that means this market has to come and fill those gaps. So what are we looking at now? So we are looking to where we are going to draw our demand zone. So in order the demand zone to be valid, right? There must be a fair value gap. We shall have our, our demand zone drawn there, just here, right? shall have our demand zone drawn just there right so in my perspective you um i shall wait for the market to come back and retest that demand zone before it makes an impulse another impulsive move right i shall wait for the market to come back here then it goes up right so like that okay so that's what i'm looking at Let's go to your USD on our daily time frame and we see uh, our market. Uh, so, if you look uh, closely on this USD, I think it prints what uh, JBP USD printing also. I think it prints the same thing. So, let's see. Let's look closely, right? It is also in an uptrend. We shall need for uh, for this demand zone to be uh, to be tested, as also it was it was tested. You can see there. So, so if you go to, to the lower time frame, if you go to your one hour 15 minutes, you will see, you will see that, you will see the reaction, right? So here, when you see the reaction where the market uh, reached this, this zone, right? When the market reached this zone, the market, uh, the, it was just going up, right? So it is just buying. So, so if you come to your lower time frame, what should you look at? Uh, you should look uh, where the, uh, we shall. We shall be looking for for the change of uh, character in <coughs> and we we'll, and we look for for a buy right so here as you can see the market it made a retracement down it was making uh higher lows and lower lows right it was what it was a uh, breaking lows right the market was was breaking rows lows right but now if <coughs> when it reached here it it fell to close below that low right what does it mean it means that we shall wait for for a market to come in and what we shall wait for the market to come in and change the character uh here it has to to come and close above this this what higher low it has to come and close above this higher low right yeah so let me change the color to red right it has to come and close above that higher low and when the market comes and close that we shall we shall be looking for this right it closes above it comes back then it buys right so that's what we shall be looking at right yeah the market will come it goes above it comes maybe if there is a fair value gap then it goes up so we shall be looking for that on uh, on euro usd right a nice time